and all clear tonight. The rains moved out during the early evening hours and left us with even a little partial clearing taking place. The active weather has shifted south with our boundary tonight. You can see all the lightning strikes on Lightning Tracker down into southern Missouri and a severe thunderstorm watch, including Nashville, Tennessee. And right around Louisville, we're still tracking some showers and some thunderstorms there, mostly just some rain. So once again, some of that affecting the southern part of Indiana and northern Kentucky tonight. Looks like most of that will stay south of Cincinnati, but we still have a cool front that's dropping southward uh, through the upper Great Lakes, and as that comes on south, we can't rule out late tonight and into tomorrow, perhaps a spotty shower or thunderstorm redeveloping. A wide range in rainfall today, Lowell Miller and Greenville only .04, but check out Eaton. Jim Shank, 2.9 inches of rain there, 2.4 Gary Rust in Camden, and the uh, grand total, the biggest total there, goes down to Jim Allen in Middletown, a little over three inches of rain, and numerous reports of one inch around Brookville, Kettering, and into Centerville. And our high today, 72, 64 was the temperature last hour. Also our low for the day, 99, the record high, 1887, and 48 uh, back in 1912 for that record low. And as we look at conditions tonight, partly cloudy skies, 65 degrees, actually up a degree this hour with a south-southwest wind at 6. Relative humidity, 90% with our dew point running in the low 60s. And we've had six-tenths of an inch of rainfall today since midnight. And as we look at the weather check readings tonight, everybody generally in the mid-60s. Scott Biesecker and Bradford, a little cooler there at 63. Of most of the readings tonight, right around 66, 67, 68 degrees. And as we check out Dorothy Nevis and Fairborn, 68 degree reading there tonight. Leslie Short in West Carrollton emailing in that reading of 66 degrees. But 70 still across the far northern part of the state where we didn't see as much rain today. And there have even been a couple of showers and thunderstorms pop up in that area, especially northeast Ohio uh, late this afternoon and evening. It looks like we might see a little bit of activity trying to get going there just west of Chicago, too. But the main cluster of thunderstorms, as we showed you there, moving southward, but we still have that front to the north, and with that front passing through, still that chance, at least tomorrow, of a slight, uh, at least a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm, especially from about the Dayton area and points on southward for tomorrow, even into the afternoon hours. That front sagging southward, and then as we head towards tomorrow night, an area of high pressure starts to move in from the northwest, and that'll dry us out uh, for most of the afternoon on Wednesday, uh, late Wednesday and also into Thursday. So we're looking at some pretty nice weather in that time frame. But then this warm front's going to be shoving northeastward by the time we get to the weekend. And once again, we're going to be getting back to some hotter conditions. It's going to feel more like summer. Tonight's low down to 65 degrees. That's where we are now. So we're really not going to move much the rest of tonight, holding just about steady. Can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm popping up again late tonight as well. A chance of a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow. Best chance south of U.S. 35. And an afternoon high of 83, actually turning less humid, especially across our northern counties in the afternoon. 68 at 8 o'clock, 72 at 10, 76 at noon. And then those readings into the low to mid 80s as we head towards late day on your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And, of course, if we would see some more rain pop up late tonight and tomorrow, you can check it out. Just go to WDTN.com, the latest view of live Doppler 2X. Your seven-day planner, nice day on Thursday. Increasing humidity Friday, also Friday afternoon. There's even a chance we could see a shower, a thunderstorm pop up, and with the heat and humidity on Saturday, a chance of a thunderstorm as well. But look at those readings by Sunday. We could be looking at temperatures up into the low 90s. Ooh. Finally, a